So what's up guys? Welcome back to the Joyce Bros Farms YouTube channel. If you're new to our channel, hope you check us out. If you like us, subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notification button where you don't ever miss one of our videos. But today, standing out here in front of a 2024 Chevrolet 2500 HD. I've owned this truck about two months now. And uh, I like to drive a truck before I form an opinion about it and give an opinion about it. This is the brand new refresh for the HD trucks. It's got the, uh, this is an LTC. LTC and High Countries have this new updated design, have the new uh, premium headlights. <clears throat> the LT still has the, uh, headlights like the lts still have the headlights like the older model with this piece uh coming through the center of the headlight and uh but they took the chevrolet right now and replaced it with the bow tie it's a it, it's a sharp design um this is one of my uh this is my second truck with this newer chevrolet design i had a 2021 model and uh it was a it was a really good truck still a really good truck uh it's still in dire here my father-in-law actually bought it i've had a lot of people ask me if i transitioned back to a diesel truck because of this right here they've started putting a chrome decal on it for the uh gas pickups and uh everybody says that allison transmission they think uh i have bought a diesel truck but this is uh, the second one of these 6.6 .6 gas trucks I've bought and I've owned, and I like them. And Chevrolet has started pairing that 6.6 .6 later with the uh, Allison transmission. Uh, we're going to go around this truck. I'm going to tell you some of the new features they've got and uh, what I like about it and some things I don't like about it, and we'll go from there. We'll zoom in here on this beautiful license plate that they'll be able to uh, order rated. This license plate will be available for you to buy. It matches the color of this truck beautifully. I like the black, the black on the gray. Uh, this truck, they come with a gold bow tie, but my dealer uh, ordered this black bow tie and I didn't know how I felt about it, but I love it against this gray. I think it looks really good. This gray, this chrome, and this black, I think they really stand out against each other. But like I said, for 24, they've got the redesigned, uh, got the redesigned headlight, a lot of cleaner, crisper look, in my opinion. But I love the way my 21 model looked. Uh, I like the LED lights on it. They was, uh, man, that thing looked mean at night. It was an aggressive look. When you walk up to this truck and unlock it, the LED lights have a greeting sequence. I mean, that don't matter to me, but it is pretty cool. You walk up to this truck and them LED lights start doing that. Uh, one detail I really like on this truck is that they've got, at night, when you've got the lights on, that bow tie glows orange at night. Of course, I run the, uh, I love the marker lights. It gives this truck that HD look. I really like that. I like I, I like the redesigned front, uh, but I also like the old front on the 21 too. Like I said, this engine is a 6.6 .6 liter gas engine, which is the same displacement as the Duramax diesel. This is just a naturally aspirated gas engine. Man, I think if I would start putting a turbocharger on these trucks, I think, I'd, man, I don't think there's anything out there that could touch them. 410 horsepower, 464 foot-pound of torque. Uh, it's it's a horse. I pull a 30-foot camper with it, and this sun gun never beats a bait. And uh, that 10-speed Allison is how has helped them out on the towing now um i to me personally i think allison transmission is overrated i'm not as big on them as a lot of people are it's uh to me 
I want to drive the truck, and to me, the Allison transmission's always wanting to fight against the way I drive a truck. I actually lost a little fuel economy on this truck compared to my 21. This one gets about a mile to the gallon less than my 21 model. But I feel like uh, towing, I gained about a half a mile a gallon. And I feel like all that is due to that Allison transmission. I think when you're running down the highway, those four extra gears in the transmission causing drag and making the engine have to work a little harder. And that's where my loss of fuel economy come there. But when you're towing, I feel like them extra gears are benefiting you. So to gain something, a lot of times you always have to give up something, but it's not getting uh, terrible fuel mileage for a three quarter ton gas. Uh, I got the best I've gotten out of this one is 16.3. Uh, we took a thousand mile trip for vacation and averaged averaged 13 and a half. Um, when we was on the highway, we was averaging 14 and a half to 15. Um, but when we got in all that stop and grow traffic, it, it pulled our fuel mileage down, but lots and lots of stop and go traffic and it averaged 13 and a half and a lot of times sitting and idling. So I was, I was okay with that for a three quarter ton gas truck. And with all the emission stuff on the modern day diesel engines, I have no desire to ever go back to a diesel truck. Uh, I owned a, I owned a Duramax. Like I said, I have no desire to ever go back to a diesel truck. Uh, it's an emissions nightmare. Government has ruined diesel trucks. Uh, they got them too complicated now, so that's the reason I run a gas burner truck. Uh, I love that they finally that they started putting the chrome badges up here on the on the gas trucks now. That was just cause I'm buying a gas truck. In my opinion, I am not buying an inferior truck. I want the badge up there telling what I got. Uh, this truck. Due to ordering restrictions, I could only order it with 18 inch wheels. And uh, I actually passed on one truck. I could have had the first 2024 truck Lofton Chevrolet sold. Uh, instead, I got the third one. Because uh, we didn't know, but uh, you could only order 18 inch wheels. So what we ended up doing was we just ordered the truck and uh, me and my dealer talked about it and he said, well, you can just put whatever. I said, I'll just put whatever wheels I want on it. And these are, uh, these are actually off a 21 model HD truck in the same rims I had on my old truck. I like them. Them 20 inch wheels give it more of an aggressive look. I went down to Offer's Tire in uh, Dyer, Tennessee, bought these uh, Nitto Ridge Grapplers my first question was are they quiet because these 24 model trucks and uh, 2020 and up are super quiet trucks especially the gas burners and i did not want to be getting a lot of road noise so they assured me that these was quiet but man i love them they're an aggressive looking tire but they're quiet they don't get they don't have that old uh, road roar one thing i do want to show you is uh, this truck has lights all over it. Look here in this mirror. Uh, come on. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you don't wouldn't think in four little lights make that much of a difference, but at night time, it's almost like a, having an off-road light. They're pretty bright. Man, the LTZ, it's got the carpeted wheel liners on the back. All of them have them on the front, but a lot of people don't like these. I love them. It cuts down on road noise. I say, well, it's an HD truck, and you're going to get mud on them, and it's carpet. Well, all you got to do is take a pressure washer and pressure wash it. It keeps from slinging all that mud up here underneath your bed. It keeps the truck a lot cleaner. I don't... I think some people just want to find something to gripe about, to be honest with you. Uh, on this truck, I will say one thing I am going to gripe about on it, though, was uh, the Z71 package on this truck was, a, I, my, 
This one does not have Z71 package on it. My 21 model did. The uh, upcharge they have put on the Z71 package on these trucks is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm not paying that kind of money just for uh, just for uh, some floor liners and some skid plates. So, but that didn't bother me. I actually like the 4x4 sticker better on it than the Z71 badge they put up there on the front. One thing I had to give up on this truck, the, the thing that irks me the most is the bad view camera for the gooseneck. This truck's got the gooseneck package. Uh, I pull a fifth wheel camper and man that camera up there in the bed, I loved it. I don't have to have it, but once you get used to it, it's hard to go back. We got uh, back here on the back, uh, I put the black lettering. I put the black Chevrolet lettering in there. I think it makes it stand out. I don't know why you would put the imprint of Chevrolet in the tailgate and then not make the letters where you could see them. But Lofton Chevrolet, Henderson, Tennessee. Go sell. It's the second truck I've bought there. Robert bought his truck up there. Uh, my dad-in-law, we run my old truck through the dealership and my father-in-law bought my old white truck up there. Four trucks in two years. Three. Four trucks in three years. But I'm telling you, it, it it's a small family-owned dealership. They've been in business 50 years. And I ain't none of this. Let me run back and talk to my service manager, my sales manager, bull crap. Uh, every, I walk in there, and everybody knows my name in there. And I know all their names. And that's something you don't get. I drive by three Chevrolet dealerships going down there to Henderson, Tennessee to deal with them. And uh, as long as old Kermit down there keeps uh, working with me like he is, I'm going to continue to go down there. I have never traded trucks like I have on this one. I pretty We pretty well did everything over the phone on it. Uh, all we did, I just drove down there on a the technicality. I sat down with Kermit. We ordered this truck. Um, and the reason, the only reason I didn't end up with the bad view camera, and this is what makes me so mad, that bad view camera is probably a $150 camera to put in there. But they're going to make me buy a $7,000 package, upgrade the bucket seats, and I have to buy a $7,000 package just to get a $150 camera. And I wasn't going to do that. This is an LTZ, but it's more of a... A lot of people don't know this, but it's kind of like you got an LTZ-1, which is what this truck is, your lower kind of a base model LTZ. And then you got what I call an LTZ-2 that's got more of your options, your bucket seats. Uh, heated and cooled front seats and heated back seats. This truck here is leather and it's just got a uh, heated front seats. But the only people who ride in the backs my kids and they can make it without heated seats. They got a lot more in this thing than what I had as a kid and me and Robert will show you that in a minute. And it rides good. It's quiet. You can't hardly hear it run. And something we may do on this review videos, we may ride it down the road. Uh, we didn't do that in my 21, but we may drive this one down the road and just let y'all hear how quiet it is and show y'all some of the options. A lot of people on these review videos, they drive these trucks maybe, maybe three, 400 miles, and then they go to telling you about it. Well, you don't know what a truck is going to do until you put some miles on it. My white truck, I drove it six months before I did one. I've drove this one two months. I put several miles a year on a truck. I put about 18,000 miles a year on a truck. So that's the reason I like I like to keep a pretty nice truck. Uh, we farm and we're always running to get parts and stuff. And sometimes them parts are heavy. So I like to keep a nice three quarter ton truck. Uh, this truck's got 
3,666 miles on it. Uh, so, you know, I about figured out all I wanna, I about figured out everything about it. Everything in your dash is all digital now. Um, you see, you can change all this up to be however you want it. Uh, I like it. You, you can see a lot of information on this. Now, one thing my little boy absolutely loves on this truck is watch this truck. I'm fixing to put it in off-road mode. And watch what this little truck does on the dash. It changes it to dirt and it jumps. And then it puts it back on the highway. And when you hit the tow haul button, it puts a trailer back there behind the truck. Uh, one gripe I do have with it though, is I with, with it, especially with this truck being a 10 speed, it does not tell you what gear the truck is in. Even when you put it down in low, all you got there is just showing, it's just showing uh, your max gear that the truck can shift into. I don't know why they didn't uh, fix this where you could see what gear your truck was actually in. That is one thing I don't like about it. Um, I like it. I love this new screen because you can look at two things at once. Uh, I got this thing right here. It's called the Magic Box. I can plug it into my USB port and the kids can pull up Netflix right here and watch Netflix running down the road. Oh, and they can watch Netflix right here and I can still see my GPS screen over here. And that is uh, that is one thing I really like. It's got, got you, it, I like this button right here. You can hold it and all four of the windows roll down at the same time. I wish they fixed it where they'd all rolled up at the same time, but other than that, they've redesigned the uh, climate control. I actually like this climate control a lot better um, than the old one. So let's uh, let's go for a little ride here and see what we got. Crystal, I love them crystal clear. Uh, crystal clear cameras. I just, like I said, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't, uh, wasn't able to get the bed view camera. Uh, that was pretty crappy. And you're not gonna go down the road without wearing your seatbelt in this truck. Or it's gonna bug the crap out of you. But, yeah, you can't see it right here, but there'll be a little indicator of the truck showing all the seats in it. And if the kids don't have their seat belts on. I can tell which kid don't have their seat belt on where I know which one to get back there and go to doing that tell them get their seat belt on. Uh, trailer, you can pull your trailer profiles up. Uh, you can see there, that's the only trailer I got in there right now. Blue livestock trailer. I've pulled it 52 miles and averaged 9.17 miles to the gallon. Uh, of course, you got your GPS screen here, and when you look at your GPS screen, it changes this light over here, so you can so you can look at your music over here while you got your GPS screen. Of course, we got Apple CarPlay. Uh, you know, got my music. One thing I do like about it on this one, you can leave the cameras on all the time. Uh, on the 21s, if you turn them on, your camera on while he's going down the road. It only stay on for eight seconds and then you'd have to hit the button again to make your camera stay on. But they got them fixed now where the camera will just stay on. Uh, but that's about it on this. I mean, you can you can customize this screen, put your apps where you want them. If it's a little bumpy, I'm sorry. Robert said I picked the world's first road to try to film something. But one thing I like about Chevrolet trucks is they, it seems like they put a lot of time and effort into listening to what their customer wants in the HD truck market. So Chevrolet, if you're listening, please put an indicator telling what gear my transmission is in on the dash because 
people that tow and actually use these trucks and HD applications as opposed to it just being a glorified pavement queen, we actually want to know what our truck is doing. I want to know, and it's the same way in a tractor or any piece of equipment, I want to know what my piece of equipment is doing. I want to know every piece of information about that equipment I can. And the only thing this thing is really lacking is showing me what gear it is in. Um, I mean, it's got my tire pressures on it, uh, off-road settings. It's got, um, let's see what else it's got in it. My transmission temperature, my oil pressure, my voltage, uh, coolant temp, uh, uh, miles per gallon, uh, trailer brake gain, engine oil light, uh, what, uh, how much wear my brakes have on it. It's got everything but telling me what gear is in. But like I said, this is a base model LTZ, got the bench seat. We really like it because it'll seat six. You can fold the metal console up. It's not the most comfortable seat, but somebody can sit there. You can sit six people in there. That's one thing Chevrolet did on from 2020 up. They made these trucks bigger, longer. There are six more inches of room in these cabs, which made a huge difference. The truck's about a foot longer, I think. The bay is longer, so you can haul more in a standard bay. Um, a lot of people don't like the big, tall hood. I like it myself. I like setting up high where I can see. You just can't see right down in front of you. And some of these trucks have a camera out front. Oh, one thing about it, is it's uh it's a lot quicker off the line with the uh with the 10 speed than it was with the six speed it's some gonna scat and we're going uphill here so take that into consideration here we go been a better test if we wasn't going uphill but i'll i'll show you when we get back on 77 there i'll get my foot in it one more time but, uh i really like the truck uh, my only disappointment is i am a little disappointed in the fuel mileage on it i thought with that 10 speed and having more of a gear selection that we would get better fuel economy but it was actually actually the opposite but I'm gonna get off this ramp here and then we'll get our foot in it one more time, see what happens. All right, here we go. See how it jumped multiple miles per hour there in some of the spots. This is a lot quicker truck than the ones with the six speed. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you're new to this channel, we do a lot of farm related videos. It's kind of out of the ordinary video for us, but it's something we use on the farm and I like to showcase what we use on the farm and the reasons we do it. And uh, I like you to be able to, uh, when I buy something, I like to make informed decisions about it. So if, uh, you're looking at an H, one of these 24 model HD trucks, you'll uh, know a little more about it going into it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification button. Even if you're an existing uh, subscriber, that way you don't ever miss uh, one of our videos. I appreciate you watching. Uh, we run a lot of older farm equipment uh, and, and take pride in our older farm equipment, but uh, I do like to keep a new truck. And uh, we'll bring you back when we got something else new and exciting going on.